Hi, my dears and my darlings. Welcome to your card of the day for June 18th. Happiest of birthdays to the June 18th babies out there. We're going to connect and see what message is coming up here for the next 24 hours. Now, um, you might not see this video on June 18th, even though I'm posting it then. Maybe depending on where you live in the world, June 18th already came and went. So we're setting the intention for the next 24 hours whatever date it is where you live whatever it is, date it is that you see this the next 24 hours a message for the next 24 hours Alrighty, my dears let's see what's going on as you can see from the background maxi and i are on the road tonight and i will fill you in about that okay we have eight of wands coming up here as the card of the day for today so what does this mean eight of wands is the element of fire so this could very well be like our like things that we're passionate about, things that we're excited about. This can be travel and movement. Some of you may be manifesting travel or preparing to travel. <laughs> you heard another dog and he's not having it. Hey, it's okay, Bombas. We have to share the hotel with all the other doggies. It's not just about you. Good boy. <laughs> ah, ah. He's not happy with me because I'm not letting him bark at the doggy, so he's on the couch now. He's he's giving me the cold shoulder, Mr. Max. Eight of Wands can be fast-moving energy. It can be uh, things that we're passionate about, things that we're excited about. It can be good news coming in, communication, okay? Receiving communication, receiving good news. Basically, it's the energy of the ball rolling, and a lot of the times... It comes up to say blocks are out of the way, delays are over, things are going to be moving forward now, things are going to be happening now in a situation. Something that was stuck is getting unstuck. Now the stars are really jumping out at me, right? The, the heart is right here in the center. So you have to listen to what your intuition is telling you. You have to listen to what your heart is telling you. You have to... Uh, follow that guidance and follow that intuition. This is a situation that maybe uh, you're not entirely sure how things are going to pan out, um, but you have to listen to what you're feeling. Like your feelings are going to be guiding you and directing you. Now, what do I mean by that? I don't mean that if you're very angry and you're very frustrated that you should act out or you should do something extreme. I saw a really funny meme the other day and it made me laugh. It said, I've made a decision that I will no longer make uh, decisions about my life or like uh, life decisions uh, after 9 p.m. Or I will no longer trust how I feel about my life after 9 p.m. Right? For some of us, it's 11 p.m. It might be a little bit later. I'm not telling you to make like some drastic decision based on a temporary feeling or frustration that's not what i'm saying but i mean in terms of um our emotions can guide us and direct us when something is wrong i had a very long story for you guys yesterday at the card of the day um you have to pay attention to how situations are making you feel and this will be your compass right sometimes we hold on to people that make us feel like crap because we're hoping at some point they'll stop making us feel like crap and then it's going to heal the situation. It's like, well, I want you to stop making me to feel like crap, so I'm going to keep holding on to you, hoping that you're going to do the opposite. But that most probably won't happen, right? Your feelings are a compass. Your feelings will give you a sense when something isn't right, right? This is causing a lot of pain. This is causing a lot of stress. This is causing a lot of, you know, sadness or grief. Okay, so this is a good indication that this is not the right direction for me. This is a good indication that I need to change course here. So that's what I mean by listening to your feelings. I don't mean somebody upsets you and really gets you angry that you should go off because then there's going to be consequences. And most likely you're the only person that has to deal with those consequences. So why put yourself in that situation because somebody else is aggravating you or some situation is aggravating you. It's not worth it to put yourself in that situation. But listen to your feelings in the sense like, does this feel good? Yes or no? 
Does this feel unsafe? Does this feel um, uh, inauthentic to who I am and what I want? Is it draining my spirit? Is it draining my soul? If you can listen to this, then guess what? The energy will start moving faster in your life. You will have that eight of wands. Things will get unstuck. Things will begin moving forward. Okay? And I talked about the false alarms, guys. There's going to be things that we think, oh my gosh, this must be it. And then it doesn't happen. Right? It doesn't mean that you're wrong in your sense or feeling that you're going to have this situation. It just may not be through this particular circumstance. It may be coming at you through a different circumstance or through a different organization or through a different person. It doesn't mean it's not meant for you. And when you had this feeling it was coming, it doesn't mean that that feeling was wrong. It just meant that you imagined it coming in a different way than it's actually going to be coming in. And be open to that. Okay, this is fast moving energy. Uh, good news, um, movement, travel. Some of you may be manifesting travel of some kind. And uh, getting out there again. G getting out there again. Um, I, I, I will say this. I feel like a lot of you, as your heart chakra is opening up, you're finding yourself desiring things that's scaring the crap out of you maybe quite literally for some of you um because it's scary it's a very vulnerable feeling to want something because then the fear is like well okay well then what if i don't get it right like what if i what if i i don't get it what if i'm uh you know gonna be sad here and feel like things didn't work out but you have to let yourself want, you have to let yourself desire, okay? Whether it's your own place or a, a romantic relationship or um, some creative accomplishment, whatever it might be, you have to give yourself permission to wish and to desire because that's how you're gonna create, that's how things are gonna come into physical manifestation. But you have to be okay with embracing that vulnerability, like to want it. it. This is what's also some of you are feeling is you're getting unstuck. But then you're tempted to block yourself off again by pushing that down and saying, oh, no, I'm not going to let myself want this or I'm not going to let myself want that. You know, that's pathetic or that's weak or that's frivolous. And it may not be any of those things. We just have a tendency to push it away. Because we're afraid, like, what if it doesn't happen for me? That kind of sense, that kind of feeling. Um, we have the state of wands here. So movement, energy. Some of you might be very pleasantly surprised. The lighting is really jumping out at me, so you might feel like you're getting hit by a bolt of lightning or it's, like, coming out of nowhere. Uh, but I feel like it would be a positive surprise. It would really be news that you had hoped for, but you maybe had given up on or you didn't think it was going to happen. And so there could be good news coming in in that way. Fast moving energy, energy moving ahead. Um, I know I'm just going to say this, um, you know, as always, obviously, check out the weekly forecast if you haven't already. Those are linked in the description. Uh, but I did want to say I know a lot of people... Uh, and I'm going to respond to more comments later. A lot of you left comments and you were very concerned uh, because of yesterday's story. I cannot thank you enough. Some of you wrote things that just had me crying because I was so touched. I was so moved by, by some of the comments and some of the things some of you said. Um, I know some of you were upset. Not upset, but like it, it, it was difficult for you to hear the things I said about myself and like how I described myself. Um, and, um, it's not that I see myself in that way. Um, it's, it's like I'm conveying the things the negative ego says or, or the things that come up in your mind in those moments when, um, 
yeah, you're dealing with negative ego or, 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 or you're dealing with the things people are saying to you or they're trying to make you feel that way. And so it's not that I don't think that I have anything to offer, you know, in my logical mind, I know that. But in that moment when you have that negative ego or you have that psychic attack, you know, it's like that's what I was trying trying to convey. But, you know, I'm not the kind of person who, like, I think I'm worthless or, or anything like that or, you know, I think I'm, like, you know, less than, you know. So I appreciate that and I appreciate the care, but I just did want to put that out there. And um, I, I just appreciate you all more than you know more than you know I felt weird about being at home um I had a really good timing uh come up here where uh you guys know the story about the the, the magical banjo player <laughs> with, with the song that like healed my tenure debacle um he was doing a show in Albuquerque which is not close to me <laughs> it's I mean it's, it's far enough away to where I had to I had to get a room um and stay and then do like a little road trip but it was a doable road trip um and I'm so so glad I went because it was like an energy healing session for me it was amazing it was so much fun um I got to hear a lot of songs that I wanted or that I liked that he was kind enough to play uh, I just, I really, really, really love the vibe of his music. I really love his energy. Um, and, uh, I will share the, uh, the band camp link in the description of the video. Maybe some of you will find it helpful or find it healing. I know it's not like everybody's kind of music. <laughs> you know, I know it's my, like, some of you might be like, yeah, but this really, this is what you like listening to. And I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. But from the time I was very young, I was so into um, uh, just bluegrass and uh, harmonica uh, and hobos. I don't know what it was. Oh, gosh. Um, the, the the ex, that, um, that tenure debacle even, like we had a running joke between the two of us and his nickname for the longest time was Hobo McRib. I called, that was his name. I called him Hobo McRib. Uh, I, it, it just, it's just kind of like a long story, but I don't know. I just, that whole kind of like wandering, rambling, you know, that, that sound of music, it, it's, it's, it's like a past life thing for me, I think. Um, and I don't know if any of you feel it in your spirit, the way I feel it in my spirit. Or if you maybe just find the energy helpful, um, I'll definitely post the Bandcamp link in the description of this video. And if you feel um, like moved to buy any of the Bandcamp songs, I mean the albums aren't that much. If there's, a, if there's a song you like, like go ahead and support your local artists, guys. Or not maybe local artists, but like small artists. If not, if not him, like whoever, whoever is creating like art that you like or whoever's creating uh music that you like if there's a way to support and if you can do so because these people are healers they're healers and tonight at the show i met like the 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 funniest <laughs> funniest uh characters and there was even a really awkward moment um where there was this guy sitting next to me and I was so into the music, and I'm like, you know, kind of like sitting in my chair, like singing along, like I was so feeling it. And this guy is sitting next to me, I've never met him before in my life, and he's all like, he's like, so tell me, like, what is it right now? Is he just, is he melting you? Like, are you just melting right now over him? Like, like what is it? Like, you came out a long way. You, you, you drove a long way. Like, you like him? Like, do you think, like, he's a star? Are you just, like, really into him? Is he just, like, it was so awkward. I'm like, I don't know who this dude is. He's, like, giving me the third degree. And I don't know. It was just, like, embarrassing. It's, like, some strangers, like, so what? Uh, you think this guy's hot? You're into him? Like, it was, like, that kind of thing. And it was just, like, I I was, like, I, I didn't even know how to answer. And I, I wanted to explain. 
like what I feel when I hear the music or like I wasn't gonna tell him my whole story about the the dude I was dating showing up at my house and the creepy guy sleeping in my backyard and I needed to get away I needed something very healing and this really heals me and I, I, I wasn't gonna get into that with some stranger I don't know I didn't know how to answer I, I just kind of like laughed and I was just like uh, uh, uh I didn't like say anything but you know art art is magic whatever whatever genre it is if it's painting if it's sculpture if it's music if it's poetry it's magic it's healing right these are people that they're channeling they're, they're creators they're channeling and they're bringing something from the universe into existence and uh i just feel like we need to uh support these people right so even if not you know you might listen to this uh, link I'm gonna post you may be like amethyst this just this ain't doing it for me you know but if it is you know and if you feel moved to do so and I don't get any money I really want to really uh, like uh, uh, not confirm but like emphasize I want to emphasize that I don't have a fast heart mart uh, partnership I don't get a commission I don't get a cut if not him if there is somebody on like a local level or smaller level that um, moves you, that inspires you. And if you're in a place to donate a dollar or, you know, buy their product or buy their music or whatever it might be, do so because we need these people. Because the stuff in the mainstream is in the mainstream because it's there to, to, to sell us stuff. It's there to tell us what we should think or how we should see the world or what we should buy and um so many true creators so many true artists they their work doesn't get distributed it doesn't get circulated because it's not promoting the agenda and that to me is devastating because it's like we're silencing our healers um i don't know that's just my tangent there but if you feel moved to support someone that moves you through their work, please do so. We need we need healers right now. We definitely need healers right now in all aspects and all avenues. Um, I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous uh, weekend. I'll see you all in tomorrow's message. Don't forget to check out the weekly forecasts. Linked in the description of the video. If you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description of the video that will take you to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a fabulous day, fabulous weekend. Whatever you're doing it, whatever you're doing, whether you're doing uh, nada at the Ramada, keeping it hot at the Marriott, being a louse at the house, whatever you're doing, I hope you do it well. I hope that you enjoy your time and that you're gentle with yourselves and that you know that good things are coming your way. If we can just disconnect from the things that make us feel icky, we can open up to the things that make us feel good, right? Uh, I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Take care, my dears. Be well.